Reverend Insanity Chapter 461 Prophecy of Three Venerables Several days later, carts rumbled and horses neighed. G tribesmen arrived at Crescent Lake and set up camp around the sparse horseshoe trees. G Guang and the G tribes' higher-ups could finally heave a sigh of relief. Aquatic plants were plentiful here along with large numbers of beast groups. They could hold a hunting festival and store provisions for their later journey. We finally arrived. Fang Yuan was overwhelmed in his heart. At night, he used the excuse of leading the wolf group to hunt to leave Ji tribe's sight. It was a moonless night, but there were many stars. The wolf group sprinted against the flow of the night wind as they discovered several small mid-sized beast groups devouring them one by one. The wolf group excitedly howled they had been in a half-starving state these days and now they could eat to their fill. Even if he had a group of 30,000 wolves, Fang Yuan still carefully maneuvered the wolf group's movement. The wolf group might be of a large scale, but Crescent Lake had many dangers. There was an even larger group of water wolves, a three-horned rhino group and a group of a thousand mutated beasts, and finally, a worm group that had hundreds of thousands and even up to a million insects. Of course, these worm groups and beast groups had their own territory and would not move around everywhere like those on the grassland. There was plenty of aquatic plants beside Crescent Lake. They did not need to move around to search for food. As long as Fang Yuan and Ji tribe did not invade their territory, the beasts and worms would not find any issues with them. According to his previous life's memories, Fang Yuan moved along the lakeside towards the east and arrived at a stone forest. This stone forest was very common. There were stone pillars which were gray, purplish-black, greenish-yellow, and so on, quietly standing straight with a precise distance between them. There were many stone forests beside Crescent Lake, but this particular forest was rather special. If someone looked from high above, they would only see gray-white stone pillars and would discover that the stone pillars vaguely formed into a thief one character. This stone forest had a really impressive origin. It was personally created by Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable. Back then, Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable requested Long Hair Ancestor to refine a goo for him. Thus, he made a bet with him, he won three rounds out of five. The long hair ancestor had no choice but to accept his loss and agreed to refine the goo. Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable wanted to enter the legendary space door all his life and requested long hair ancestor to refine the immortal goo space escape goo, an immortal goo that could allow a goo master to enter the space door. He placed all his effort in researching the recipe for it. Long Hair Ancestor was very excited and felt that the recipe was good and proper, but there were some places that could be improved. After discussing with Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable, the Demon Venerable became very happy and exclaimed that Long Hair Ancestor's refinement path attainment far surpassed his. The two immortals cooperated and spent 21 years to successfully refine Space Escape Goo. However, although this goo was refined and Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable could activate it, it was not able to enter the space door no matter what he did. The Demon Venerable felt discouraged, and the proud Long Hair Ancestor also suffered a huge setback. Later, Long Hair Ancestor researched with Giant Sun Immortal Venerable, but did not make any progress. The space escape goo became the only failure in Long Hair Ancestor's life. It was said that even at his deathbed, Long Hair Ancestor could not forget this. His good friend Immortal Yi Yan could not endure seeing his old friend pass away like this and expended fifty years of his life to deduce the future. He predicted that many years later, after three great eras, three venerables would appear, two men and one woman. The first was Spectral Soul Demon Venerable, second was Paradise Earth Immortal Venerable, and third was Great Dream Immortal Venerable. As for the problem regarding the Space Escape Goo, it would be solved by Great Dream Immortal Venerable. Immortal Yi Yan was a rank 8 Wisdom Path Goo Immortal and was proficient in making predictions, he often made accurate one-sentence predictions, and was thus known as Immortal Yi Yan too and this deduced prophecy would later be known as the famous Prophecy of Three Venerables. 
Sure enough, the world went through countless changes and continuously moved forward after Giant Sun Immortal Venerable Spectral Soul Demon Venerable appeared. After the Demon Venerable died, a rank 9 male Goo Immortal appeared in Righteous Path and was, as predicted, known as Paradise Earth Immortal Venerable. Now Paradise Earth Immortal Venerable was already dead. Prophecy of Three Venerables was mostly complete. Only Great Dream Immortal Venerable who has yet to be born remains. Speaking of it, Long Hair Ancestor was both happy and sad at this prophecy. Happy because the problem of space escape goo could finally be resolved. Sad because he would not be able to see that day. Long Hair Ancestor died and turned into a land spirit with only one obsession to see Great Dream Immortal Venerable. As long as she solved the problem of space escape goo, the whole Lang Ya blessed land would belong to her. Back then, when Long Hair Ancestor refined the space escape goo for thieving heaven demon venerable, the result was a failure, but they could not find the problem with it. Being greatly embarrassed, he promised to refine nine more goo worms for thieving heaven demon venerable, and he would even provide all the materials required to refine the goo. Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable later requested Long Hair Ancestor to refine six immortal goo. Before Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable mysteriously disappeared, he set up his inheritances in the five regions and made an agreement with Long Hair Ancestor that the remaining three chances for goo refinement will be left for his inheritor. Long Hair Ancestor agreed, and the two made a secret code. After more than a decade from now, one of the thieving heaven demon venerable's inheritances would suddenly activate and be known by everyone. The content of the inheritance is a riddle, and the riddle points towards Lang Ya Blessed Land. From then on, a craze of solving riddles in northern plains with countless people trying to solve it started. The rumors spread endlessly, but no one succeeded. Later, Ma Hong Yun was forced to flee after being defeated on the battlefield and came running to Crescent Lake. At the lakeside, he encountered a premeditated ambush. Panicked and left with no choice, he ran over to this stone forest and accidentally discovered a passage in the stone forest. Going through this secret passage, he entered Lang Ya Blessed Land and met the Land Spirit. After getting the secret code right, Lang Ya Land Spirit refined three goo worms for him as per the agreement. Ma Hong Yun obtained these three rank five goo and after recovering from his injuries, he returned to the stone forest and turned the tide with great might. Starting all over again and finally, he obtained the throne of the imperial court for the second time. Fang Yuan recalled while slowly moving forward. Then his eyes brightened and he stopped before a purple stone pillar. This stone pillar was also common but a stone that was flat like a stool was near the bottom of the pillar. During that time, after Ma Hong Yun was defeated, he was chased by the enemy troops and was already on the verge of death. He fled to this place and had nowhere to run with his injuries reaching a critical state. He sat on this stone stool and gazed up at the sky while leaning on the stone pillar. Suddenly, he felt that this stone pillar looked like his dear wife. His consciousness was on the verge of collapsing. He used his blood-stained hand to gently caress the stone pillar and said with deep love, Lion Yun, O oh Lion Yun, I really regret not listening to your advice. I want to see you, I want to tell you personally, I love you, I was wrong. At this time, the enemies had already arrived and were raising their sabers high. But at the next moment, Ma Hong Yun suddenly disappeared, he had entered Lang Ya Blessed Land. Fang Yuan sat at this stone stool, leaning on the pillar and gazing up. But he could not see a woman's appearance anywhere on the stone pillar. Fang Yuan laughed uncontrollably. It seems this Ma Hong Yun was just thinking of his wife when he stared at the stone pillar. His longing was so deep that he could see Zhao Lian Yun on anything. This Zhao Lian Yun was also a weird woman, in the future she became a wisdom path Gu Immortal, and was a good wife to Ma Hong Yun, helping him strategize. But currently, she was only a little girl. Fang Yuan took out a dagger and cut his flesh, letting the fresh blood smear this purple stone pillar. Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable had put a mysterious Gu Worm on this purple stone pillar. 
Blood was only the first criteria for its activation. There was still the second criteria, that was to say, I want. When Fang Yuan said these two words, his body instantly disappeared and his vision suddenly changed. When he regained his senses, he was in a room. In the room, the smell of an alchemy furnace wafted in the air. There were dragon pillars, golden curtains, crane lanterns, and vermilion windows. A sagely old man was sitting cross-legged on a bed of cloud, his eyes closed as if he was meditating. He was thin with white hair, having a beard that reached his chest and a ruddy face like that of a baby's. He was wearing a wide robe and the two sleeves were fluttering in the air. Demon Venerable's inheritor Chang Shan Yin has come to pay respects. Fang Yuan touched his chest with his right hand and slightly bowed. You are Chang Shan Yin? The old man slightly opened his eyes, his eyes flashed with bright light as he looked at Fang Yuan with a gaze that seemed to materialize. This outer skin of yours is quite interesting. H.M., you used human skin along with shame plum, autumn voice grass. Hun, there is also pill fire goo, medicine strength goo, and some. The land spirit frowned deeply and caressed his beard, a hesitant expression on his face. He could actually see through Fang Yuan's disguise and even roughly deduce human skin goo's recipe by just observing. Lad, do you want to exchange this goo worm's recipe? I will use a similar grade goo worm to exchange for it. Or you can choose a similar grade goo worm recipe. Ah, right, secret code, the secret code. After speaking for a while, the land spirit suddenly remembered the secret code and smacked his head. Fang Yuan shrugged his shoulders. The secret code that you created with the demon venerable back then? Ha, there is no secret code. As for the human skin goo recipe, I cannot exchange it yet. You don't want to exchange? Why? The land spirit was furious, a heavy pressure pressed down on Fang Yuan. He could not budge, his whole skeleton emitted creaking noises under the suppression. But he sneered with no concern. I have my reasons for not doing the exchange. You do not need to know about it. The land spirit laughed sinisterly. He he, you don't want to exchange, then I shall imprison you here and peel off your skin. After studying it few times, I can reverse engineer the recipe of this human skin goo. No, you can't make a move on me. Fang Yuan was confident. I am Demon Venerable's inheritor. You can't do anything to me before the agreement of the three goo is completed. According to Earth's understanding, the land spirit was equivalent to an artificial intelligence. Except that, this land spirit birthed from long hair ancestor had quite a high intelligence and was good at scaring others. In his past life, Ma Hong Yun had been scared by the land spirit and lost the precious opportunity to refine immortal Gu, refining only three rank five Gu. After that incident, Ma Hong Yun regretted it endlessly. After becoming a Gu immortal, whenever he thought of this matter, he would wring his hands and sigh. You! The land spirit blew its beard and opened its eyes which seemed to puff out fire, a posture that seemed ready to kill. But Fang Yuan remained unmoved. The land spirit kept on staring for a long while before suddenly turning exhausted like a ball that was leaking air. He then scowled miserably and got off the bed of clouds, walking towards Fang Yuan and softly pleaded while pulling his sleeves. Young lad, please do a good deed and exchange this recipe with me, please. Fang Yuan was speechless. This, what was this situation? His attitude change was way too fast. Chapter 462, Exchanging Gu. Young lad, please have some tea. This is a high-grade cloud smoke tea, have a taste of it. Lang Yalan's spirit sat at the edge of the bed as he brewed a cup of tea for Fang Yuan personally. Fang Yuan sat at the spot, the land spirit was sitting at previously, looking at this peculiar land spirit wordlessly. In the conversation earlier, Fang Yuan had talked to this land spirit and understood this land spirit liked collecting recipes, it will try its best to get its hands on any new recipes it discovers. If it were any other person, the land spirit would have extorted and threatened him already. But Fang Yuan was a demon venerable's inheritor, he did not dare to do so, thus he could only beg nicely. Handsome young lad, is the tea not nice? 
Are you happy? For the sake of this tea, exchange that human skin recipe with me, please. Lang Yilan spirit showed a smiling expression as he tried to please Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan drank his tea silently. The mysterious, strong, and sagely image of Lang Yilan's spirit collapsed rapidly. Young lad, do me a favor, pity this old man. I live alone here, I am so lonely, so bored, so thirsty. I can only look at these recipes daily to pass time. Are you so cruel to reject the request of such a pitiful old man like me? The land spirit had a grandpa appearance, having white beard, white hair, and white eyebrows, staring at Fang Yuan pitifully. Hey, have some self-awareness, you are a land spirit, not a human. Fang Yuan's eyes were twitching. Young lad, whatever you say, as long as you will give the recipe to me, you can do anything to me. The grandpa winked at Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan controlled his urge to kick this creep as he shouted, No means no. Lang Yalan spirit's body shuddered as it started crying, rolling on the ground. No, I want to exchange. I want the recipe, I want the recipe, young lad. You are too cruel, too ruthless, you lack compassion. Why are you not exchanging the recipe with me? Will it kill you? Please just exchange it. Seriously, rumors cannot compare to meeting in real life. Fang Yuan's head was full of black lines as the image of Lang Yalan's spirit that he had broke into pieces and was stepped into tiny shards on the ground. However, this showed Lang Yalan's spirit's innocence and sincerity. The land spirit grandpa rolled on the ground and cried for a long time, but Fang Yuan did not relent. He had no choice but to stand up, with tears all over his face, even his beard, hair, and eyebrows were wet. Young lad, what's wrong with your conscience? You are simply too cruel, as expected of the inheritor of a demon venerable. The grandpa complained as he looked at Fang Yuan, like a wife who had just been cheated on. Fang Yuan could not stand this gaze, he shuddered as he sighed. Never mind, never mind, I can give you the human skin goose recipe. But you have to wait until the time is right. Young lad, you are awesome, you are the kindest person ever. So when will the time be right? Land Spirit was extremely overjoyed. Haha, <laughs> five hundred years later. Land Spirit Grandpa frowned and immediately slumped. That's so long away. HMPH, this is the best I am willing to offer. Why, you don't want to exchange anymore? Of course I want to exchange. It's just five hundred years I can wait. Young lad, I will be waiting for you. This is our agreement for a lifetime. The old grandpa said affectionately. Fang Yuan held his face, sighing deeply. I have a recipe here, I want to exchange it for connecting heaven Gu. Once he heard Fang Yuan's request, Lang Yalan's spirit's expression changed. He stood upright and raised his head slightly, showing an arrogant expression. Oh, you want to get connecting heaven Gu? He spoke slowly and casually. To tell you the truth, young lad, I have an uncountable number of recipes here. If the recipe you produce is already owned by me, I will not take it. Fang Yuan laughed confidently. Old man, your era is long over. Bring me a brush and paper, I will write a portion of it for you. Just after he wrote half of the content, Fang Yuan stopped. Write, write it, what else is there? Land Spirit stood at the side, scratching his ears as his eyes shone. He had already confirmed that this was a new recipe. He had never seen it before. This is a rank 5 recipe. Where is your connecting heaven goo? Here, here. Land Spirit waved his hand and a connecting heaven goo appeared on the table. Fang Yuan finished writing this recipe and refined the connecting heaven goo, keeping it in his aperture. At the side, Land Spirit looked at this recipe gleefully. The goo worm in the recipe was a new goo discovered by goo masters 500 years later. During the chaotic five region battle, it was an era of innovation, of all sorts of new goo were developed and created. Every time such a chaotic era appeared, a rank 9 goo immortal would be born. Fang Yuan had his previous life's memories, although he forgot a lot of things, he still had a great number of recipes inside his head. These recipes, to exaggerate, were ahead of the current times by an era. Of course the land spirit had never heard of them. 
Do you have divine sense, Gu? Fang Yuan kept connecting heaven Gu and asked. Yes. Exchange? You still have recipes? Land Spirit Grandpa was shocked and overjoyed. Fang Yuan smiled as he took the brush and paper, writing once again. But this time, halfway through, the Land Spirit laughed. Young man, I have the recipe of this goo worm already. Oh? Fang Yuan stopped writing. His expression was stunned. He did not think that the Land Spirit was lying. Land Spirits were pure, yes means yes, and no means no. If you don't believe me, you can look at this. Lang Ya Land Spirit grabbed the air, and a cowhide recipe appeared, landing on the table. Fang Yuan took a look, it was the real deal. It seems that the goo worms in my memories, although they only appeared 500 years later, might not be new goo after all. Thinking so, Fang Yuan laughed, saying to the land spirit, No worries, if this is no use, I have another recipe. But this time, Fang Yuan only wrote a third of it before the land spirit clapped. Although I do not have this recipe, I have something very similar, look at this. Saying so, he handed Fang Yuan a recipe, it was 90% similar to his. Fang Yuan immediately understood. My recipe might have been improved on by a goo master using an ancient recipe. Young lad, this recipe does not have much value, I will not exchange for it. Land Spirit said. Fang Yuan revised his plans. When Long Hair Ancestor was alive, he loved to collect and research on recipes. He was known as the number one immortal of the refinement path of all times. He lived for a long period of time and collected a vast number of recipes. He could be said to have been an extremely successful collector. As for Fang Yuan's generation of the New Age, they had not reached the apex of the time period, at least Great Dream Immortal Venerable had not appeared yet. The Gu Worm recipes in Fang Yuan's memories, compared to Lang Ya Blessed Land's accumulation from many eras, seemed to be extremely insignificant. Look at these then. Fang Yuan started scribbling again. But for these recipes, either Lang Ya Blessed Land had it, or it was a modified ancient recipe, the land spirit had no intentions to get them. Fang Yuan was helpless. In his memories, there were some goo worms that were definitely new, but they had a great importance in the future, each represented a great benefit to him, and could easily change the situation of the regions. Once they get exposed by Lang Ya Blessed Land, his losses were small issues, but it might potentially alter history, the disadvantages were too great for Fang Yuan compared to the gains. Land Spirit, look at this recipe. Fang Yuan thought and wrote the Stargate Goose recipe. Land Spirit took a look and was interested. The more Fang Yuan wrote, the more its interest grew. I've never seen these recipes before, they are rather peculiar, very peculiar. The old grandpa muttered as he rubbed his chin. This was a rank 5 goo recipe, Fang Yuan successfully obtained the divine sense goo from it. Young lad, this Stargate goo is interesting. It has the effect to cross the five regions. The five regions have their respective barriers at the boundaries, but this can actually make use the power of Black Heaven. This type of goo worm, usually only whole earth goo and connecting heaven goo are popular classics. But this Stargate goo can compete with the two of them and is not inferior in any way. Did you create this goo's recipe? Land Spirit asked. Of course. Fang Yuan admitted it without hesitation. He had zero guilt in impersonating and taking this glory for himself. Next, he started to brag shamelessly. The few recipes earlier were also devised by me, although I also used some current recipes as the base for my research. This act undoubtedly deepened his relationship with Lang Yelan spirit. Little friend, you have talent for refinement path, I am truly amazed. Land Spirit Grandpa stopped calling Fang Yuan Young Lad, but started calling him Little Friend. But this Stargate Goo has its weaknesses. You need to gather starlight at night to activate it. Other than that, this Goo's refinement success rate is low. But if we add a few supplementary materials into it, we can raise the success rate by 30%. Next, the Land Spirit listed a few materials. Fang Yuan frowned as he listened. He had never heard of these materials. 
It seems that they were either materials from the immemorial era or just simply too rare and unique with little use normally. Land Spirit continued. It seems this Stargate goo is best paired with the Starlight Fireflies. With the Starlight Fireflies, you will have Starlight, and the Stargate goo can be used regardless of time or location. What? Fang Yuan heard this and his heart pounded, asking quickly, Starlight Fireflies, what are Starlight Fireflies? If you don't know about Starlight Fireflies, that's true, they were already extremely rare during the Immemorial Era and were extinct during the Olden Era. When the Immemorial Nine Heavens were still around, most of the Starlight Fireflies lived in Orange Heaven. Land Spirit exposed another ancient secret. Fang Yuan was disappointed. Since it is extinct, there's no need to mention it. The so-called extinct is merely in the mortal realm recently. I saw a swarm of starlight firelight when making a transaction in Treasure Yellow Heaven. I think it belongs to Star Lord Wan Yang. Land Spirit recalled. Really? Fang Yuan's eyes were shining. The reason he exchanged for connecting Heaven Gu and Divine Sense Gu were so that he could impersonate a Gu immortal and make transactions in Treasure Yellow Heaven to obtain resources and stop his reliance on Immortal Crane Sect. Land Spirit's words greatly increased his interest in the Starlight Fireflies. Fang Yuan's eyes rolled, laughing craftily. Land Spirit, I still have many recipes here, but I only want Starlight Fireflies. Land Spirit shook its head. I can't exchange that. Why? I do not have Starlight Firefly goo. Land Spirit said as a matter of fact. Fang Yuan said snappily. If you do not have Starlight Firefly Goo, can't you use Connecting Heaven Goo to buy it in Treasure Yellow Heaven? The Land Spirit looked at Fang Yuan with a weird expression. Why do I have to buy Starlight Firefly Goo? If you do not buy Starlight Firefly Goo, how are you going to exchange for my recipe? Land Spirit shook its head, adamantly saying, Your recipe can only exchange for Goo Worms I currently have in the Blessed Land. Fang Yuan was speechless, the land spirit was rigid, it could not make such compromises after all, it was not human, as a land spirit, it could not make flexible decisions. In the end, after Fang Yuan talked until his lips were about to tear, no progress was made. The land spirit only followed the rules. Fang Yuan could only stop his attempt, but suddenly he had a thought, wait, you said you will only exchange for goo that are currently in your blessed land. Yes. Fang Yuan licked his dry lips. Then I'll use my immortal goo recipe to exchange for your heavenly primeval treasure imperial lotus, is that okay? Chapter 463 Fang Yuan's Awkwardness Heavenly Essence Treasure Imperial Lotus was at a rank 6 Immortal Goo, but it was not a natural goo, instead was invented by Genesis Lotus Immortal Venerable. Rank 3 Heavenly Essence Treasure Lotus, Rank 4 Heavenly Essence Treasure Monarch Lotus, and Rank 5 Heavenly Essence Treasure King Lotus could produce Primeval Essence, giving an enormous help in a Goo Master's Primeval Essence recovery. Rank 6 and above Heavenly Essence Treasure Imperial Lotus, however, produced Immortal Essence and had extremely huge use. Genesis Lotus Immortal Venerable relied on this goo to become the person with the most abundant Immortal Essence among Rank 9 goo Immortals in all history. After Genesis Lotus Immortal Venerable died, his Heavenly Essence Treasure Imperial Lotus was protected with layers of layers of security, becoming a famous treasure in the world. However, after dozen of years, an extremely daring Rank 7 Goo Immortal stole it. This Rank 7 Goo Immortal was the Venerable after Genesis Lotus Immortal Venerable, the one who became the Heavenly Thief, Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable. After Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable died, this Heavenly Essence Treasure Imperial Lotus was also destroyed. Long Hair Ancestor had many interactions with Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable, and after the Demon Venerable went missing for hundreds of years, Long Hair Ancestor tried to refine the goo. Finally, he succeeded in refining a Rank 6 Heavenly Essence Treasure Imperial Lotus. Later, he developed a preference for it and advanced it to Rank 8 stage. 
immortal Gu were one of a kind and their names also remained the same. After they advanced to stages beyond rank 6, their names would not change. For example, Heavenly Essence Treasure Imperial Lotus and Spring Autumn Cicada. When they advanced from rank 6 to rank 7, they would still be called Heavenly Essence Treasure Imperial Lotus and Spring Autumn Cicada. After Long Hair Ancestor died, his obsession merged with the heavenly power to form a land spirit. This rank 8 Heavenly Essence Treasure Imperial Lotus also remained in Lang Ye Blessed Land. Lang Ye Blessed Land would later be accidentally discovered by a soul path Gu Immortal called Gui Wang, leading the first wave of attacks. The result was that they were captured by the land spirit. However, the news regarding Lang Ye Blessed Land was leaked by Gui Wang and attracted more Gu Immortals. Later, a second wave of attacks came, and later, the third wave and so on. During the seventh wave, the Heavenly Court dispatched several rank seven Gu Immortals who brought Immortal Gu to the mortal realm. After a tragic battle, Lang Ye Blessed Land finally collapsed, while the Gu Immortals also suffered disastrous losses. Feng Jiu Ji died in this battle. However, Lang Ye Blessed Land's great number of recipes were taken by the Heavenly Court. Central continent strength thus rose sharply, and with just their strength, they attacked the four great regions. With his previous life's memories, Fang Yuan was clear of the future development. At this moment, when Fang Yuan suddenly mentioned the use of immortal Gu recipe to exchange for heavenly essence treasure imperial lotus, the land spirit refused without hesitation. This is not possible. Heavenly Essence Treasure Imperial Lotus can produce immortal essence, it is the reason why I can defend against the calamities and tribulations. At the same time, I need to use these immortal essence to refine Gu. Heavenly Essence Treasure Imperial Lotus is non-exchangeable. Is that so? Fang Yuan nodded with some disappointment since he had some expectations. However, the land spirit's next sentence ignited his hope again. However, I have other immortal goo here. What recipe do you have? Rank 7 recipe can only be exchanged for rank 6 immortal goo. Rank 8 recipe can be exchanged for rank 7 or rank 6 immortal goo. Fang Yuan's eyes let out a bright light. He knew Lang Ye Blessed Land had a rank 7 beast enslavement goo. This immortal goo could subdue any wild beast in the world, including mutated beasts, myriad beast emperor. Even desolate beasts and ancient desolate beasts, Long Hair Ancestor used this goo to subdue many desolate beasts, including several ancient desolate beasts whom he buried under the twelve cloud buildings. With these desolate beasts' protection, the whole Lang Ye Blessed Land became a fortified castle and was able to resist till the sixth wave of Gu Immortals' crazed attack and finally fell at the seventh wave. This beast enslavement goo is extremely important to the blessed land, the land spirit definitely won't exchange it. But Long Hair Ancestor has refined many immortal goo, he definitely had more than just beast enslavement goo and heavenly essence treasure imperial lotus. Fang Yuan felt a rush, and after thinking for a moment, he began to write a recipe. The old land spirit looked from the side with his hands behind his back. After observing for a while, he started laughing. This is the second Aperture Goo's recipe, right? Eh, you have this recipe too? Fang Yuan stopped writing. Of course, I have countless recipes here, including thousands of immortal Goo recipes. The land spirit said proudly. Such wealth, I see why even the heavenly court decided to attack. Fang Yuan's eyes flashed as he sighed inwardly. In that case, he contemplated and started writing on another paper. He was writing the recipe for the rank 6 blood deity. The land spirit's eyes immediately let out a bright light when he saw the start of the recipe. But the light gradually dimmed. When Fang Yuan had written the third line, the land spirit said, Although your blood path recipe might be amazing, it is only a remnant recipe. Even though some parts were patched up, there are many conflicts in the steps there is a very small chance of successfully refining it. You cannot exchange this recipe for an immortal goo. Fang Yuan let out a sigh. Back then, this blood deity recipe that he obtained was a remnant piece. 
After his painstaking research and request for other Goo Immortals to repair it, this current recipe was formed. He knew, however, this recipe was not accurate. The reason why he did not choose to refine blood deity in his previous life was also mainly because of this. Later, through a coincidental opportunity, he obtained the accurate recipe for spring autumn cicada. Thereupon, he abandoned the blood deity to refine spring autumn cicada. However, spring autumn cicada involved his greatest secret of rebirth. Even if Lang Ya Blessed Land did not have this recipe, Fang Yuan would not take it out to exchange. He had taken the initiative to expose it in Three Kings Blessed Land because he was in dire straits and wanted to gamble for an overwhelming benefit. However, right now, he was not in a tight spot and thus did not need to take the risk. Since it was like this, Fang Yuan did not continue writing the recipe for the blood deity. The immortal goo recipes he knew was only about a dozen, but most of them was remnant recipes. Blood Deity's recipe was already the best of these remnant recipes. He only had two intact and correct Immortal Goo recipes, Second Aperture Goo and Spring Autumn Cicada. However, Lang Ya Blessed Land already had the recipe of the former, while Fang Yuan did not dare to expose the latter. Fang Yuan fell into silence, and after thinking for a while, he asked, Land Spirit, can I use Rank 5 recipe to exchange for a Stargate Goo? The land spirit shook his head. No, you can only exchange for the goo worms that I currently have. Fang Yuan was unresigned and asked, Land spirit, could it be that you don't want to refine Stargate goo? This is a completely new goo we are talking about here. Of course I want to. Although it is not suitable for me to use, I can put it in Treasure Yellow Heaven to sell. Hmm but I can refine it whenever I want to, and I am not certain when I will do it. The land spirit suddenly reacted. He showed his intelligence at this time. Little friend, you are thieving heaven demon venerable's inheritor. You have three opportunities to ask me to refine goo. But if you want to refine immortal goo, whether it succeeds or fails, it will be counted as one chance. If you want to refine mortal goo, I will definitely make you the goo. If you want the Stargate Goo, I can refine it successfully for you. The Land Spirit proposed. Fang Yuan suddenly realized that there were these small details. No wonder Ma Hong Yun chose to refine three rank five Goo. At that time, when he fell into this place, he was only a mortal and might not know the value of a immortal Goo. Moreover, a mortal body cannot use immortal Goo. Thus, he refined three rank five goo that could immediately increase his battle strength. After returning to the outside world, he turned the tide around, gathering his troops again and turned defeat into victory. When Ma Hong Yun later became a goo immortal, he realized how precious the opportunity in Lang Ya Blessed Land was. Unfortunately, he could only regret at that time. Ma Hong Yun's awkwardness became Fang Yuan's awkwardness too. Fang Yuan was only a mortal now, even if he got an immortal goo, he could not use it. Little Hu Lan spirit could use immortal goo, but whether it was whole earth goo, connecting heaven goo or stargate goo, they could not support an immortal goo. That is to say, even if Fang Yuan possessed an immortal goo, he could not send it to Hu immortal blessed land. Moreover, these three opportunities to refine immortal goo also had a precondition, that is Fang Yuan had to provide the recipes for them. If there was an error in the recipe, the refinement would fail. Immortal goo were the only one of its kind, if someone else already possessed that immortal goo, the refinement would fail then as well. According to the land spirit's words, if the immortal goo refinement fails, one opportunity would be lost. Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable could refine six immortal goo at that time. One reason was because Long Hair Ancestor was arrogant and refused to fail intentionally, and another reason was Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable was brimming with talent with formidable ability and had made sufficient preparation and made use of every opportunity, causing Long Hair Ancestor to lose great amounts of precious and rare goo refinement materials six times. Now, Long Hair Ancestor was dead and had turned into a land spirit, although he would not play tricks when refining immortal goo for Fang Yuan, he was after all a land spirit and not Long Hair Ancestor himself. 
Thus his ability in goo refinement was greatly reduced. In that case, do I waste one precious opportunity to refine a stargate goo? Fang Yuan fell into deep contemplation. According to common sense, these three opportunities should be sufficiently exploited to refine three immortal goo like thieving heaven demon venerable did back in the day. However, Fang Yuan had huge problems in doing so. Firstly, he did not have immortal goo recipes. Secondly, he did not have the ability of thieving heaven demon venerable and could not guarantee the success of immortal goo's refinement. If the refinement failed, it would mean one chance wasted. It was worse than refining a rank 5 goo. The final crucial point was that he was only immortal and could not use immortal goo. Although immortal goo had a very high value, it was of no help to him and would instead attract disaster. It would be worse than a rank 5 goo. Even rank 5 goo was not suitable for Fang Yuan. With Fang Yuan's current situation in Northern Plains, using rank 4 was the best. Of course, I can leave these three opportunities for now. Anyway, I have already obtained the opportunities, even if Ma Hong Yun came personally, or that thieving heaven demon venerable's inheritor appears, there would be no effect. However, I truly need Stargate Goo at present. Fang Yuan was hesitating and felt that he was in an awkward position. His current strength path cultivation only had 30 jun of strength, he urgently needed goo worms to reform his skin and flesh. In terms of enslavement path cultivation, there was a great burden in feeding the wolf group, and without a tribe to support them, he could only maintain around 30,000 wolves by himself. In terms of soul, the wolfman's soul was already formed, he could go to Dang Hun Mountain and use Guts Goo to strengthen it. In terms of cultivation, he fulfilled the conditions to break through, but because of the region's suppression, he could not break through to rank 5 right now. His current situation was like a chess player with all the chess pieces in places where they could not be moved. He was stuck in a deadlock, facing a huge bottleneck. Chapter 464 Either Eternal Life or Shit if there were no external influences and Fang Yuan could just rely on his own strength, he would be able to accumulate strength and breakthrough when the opportunity comes. However, because of spring-autumn cicada, what he lacked was time. Not only that, if he wasted time and could not make it to some opportunities, the advantage of his rebirth would also be gone. These three chances are indeed very precious. Although blindly saving these chances for the future may give the impression that I will be able to make full use of these opportunities, it will in fact delay my growth. Specific situations need specific analysis. I cannot blindly follow Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable's example, but Ma Hong Yun's choices also wasted these three chances. After deep and careful contemplation, Fang Yuan made his decision. Land Spirit, I have thought it through. Fang Yuan spoke slowly, this time my request is for you to refine Stargate Goo. As for the remaining two chances, I will leave it for later. You really want me to refine Stargate Goo? You need to know you are giving up a precious chance to refine Immortal Goo. Maybe you can take a gamble and use that recipe for Blood Deity. Land Spirit instead tried to persuade Fang Yuan. He liked recipes to an extreme degree. Blood Deity's recipe might be damaged, but he still wanted to collect it. Fang Yuan shook his head when he decided on something, he would not hesitate. No, refine Stargate Goo. All right, there is no strongest goo worm in this world, only a goo worm that is most suitable for oneself. You can't use immortal goo, but looks like this Stargate Goo is extremely useful to you. I will refine this goo for you. The land spirit grandpa then willed as he teleported five goo immortals over. Among these five goo immortals, one was very ugly, one had a ruddy face, one wore blue clothes, one wore yellow garments, and one wore pink skirt. They were Gooey Wang's group. They attacked Lang Ya Blessed Land, throwing in their green grape immortal essence to expend Lang Ya Blessed Land's white lich eye immortal essence. However, the result was that the land spirit had intentionally shown weakness in order to capture all of them. Lang Ya Blessed Land had rank 8 Heavenly Essence Treasure Imperial Lotus and would never lack White Lich Eye Immortal Essence. 
Gui Wang and the group did not have an immortal Gu. Thus the land spirit enticed them into the blessed land. It waited till these five rushed into the cloud buildings before confining their rank five Gu. Gui Wang and the rest realized the situation was bad, promptly using all their immortal essence, but they could not compare to the Lang Ya land spirit. The land spirit did not use even a single desolate beast to capture these five immortals. Having cultivated to this stage, the five immortals knew to adapt to the circumstances and immediately chose to save their lives by submitting to the land spirit. After finding themselves teleported over, they soon reacted and bowed to the land spirit, greeting together. Subordinates greet Lord Lang Ya Land Spirit. H.M. The land spirit stroked his snow-white beard, recovering his sagely demeanor just like when Fang Yua first saw him. This is thieving heaven demon venerable's inheritor Chang Shan Yin greet him. Land spirit introduced Fang Yuan. Thieving heaven demon venerable's inheritor. The five immortals looked at each other, clearly seeing the shock in each other's eyes. Their contempt towards Fang Yuan because of his mortal identity immediately disappeared. Who was thieving heaven demon venerable? He was a rank nine Gu immortal. Since immemorial era to remote antiquity era, olden antiquity era, medieval antiquity era, early antiquity era to present age, only around ten venerable level Gu immortals had appeared in human history. An inheritor of a rank nine Gu immortal. This identity shocked the five immortals before this shock turned into envy and jealousy. Why don't I have such luck to become an inheritor? This kid's luck is too good, simply too heaven-defying. He actually became Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable's inheritor. Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable had set up many inheritances. It is rumored that his greatest inheritance is in Space Cave. I wonder how many inheritances did he get? The five immortals' thoughts surged rapidly while they greeted Fang Yuan. The act of Gu immortals greeting mortals was like an elephant kowtowing to an ant. But the five immortals did not feel any humiliation. Meanwhile, Fang Yuan was extremely indifferent, even if a rank 9 Gu immortal kowtowed to him, he would not feel any honor. If the roles were reversed, even if he had to beg and kneel to a mortal, he would not feel any humiliation. In his eyes, all that would eventually die were equal. The only difference was whether they died early or late. Be it those with status and social class, whether they were nobles or peasants, they were nothing more than a group of fools waiting to die. All of them live in a fake world with self-imposed rules. By comparing the lives of each other, a portion of these fools would feel that they were living a great life. In truth, those fools who think of themselves as nobles or aristocrats were only deceiving themselves, and those fools who think of themselves as lowly are even more pitiful. Are kings given their high status upon birth? All living beings are born equal, why should one bow to others? There is only immortality, only eternal life should be the goal one should pursue. If one cannot live forever, is there any difference between a rank 9 Gu immortal and a pile of shit in the gutter? I am a huge fool, but I do not wish to be a fool that is made of shit. There was no way to express such mental behavior and aspirations to others, and even more importantly Fang Yuan did not want to express them. Fang Yuan indifferently accepted the greetings of the five immortals, then looked at Lang Ya Land Spirit. Land Spirit, are you not going to personally refine the goo? Of course I will personally refine it, but having these five as support can be considered making use of trash. Land Spirit snickered. Being called trash and also being disregarded by Fang Yuan caused these five immortals' expressions to turn unsightly. Rage was burning in them, but they were captives right now and they could not flare out. They could only helplessly hold in this anger and listen to the land spirit's commands. However, the first try at goo refinement by former long hair ancestor who turned into a land spirit, along with the help of five immortals, ended up in failure. HMPH, this Stargate goo is rather difficult. There was no mistakes from me, but rather the refinement itself has only a fixed success rate. The land spirit explained and said to Fang Yuan, Don't worry, Stargate goo is only rank 5, I will definitely complete the refinement for you. P. 
He he, I will be waiting. Fang Yuan lie down on the cloud bed with no hurry. The time flow in Lang Ya Blessed Land was 36 times faster than the outside world. Over a month here would only be a day in outside world. The land spirit had inherited long hair ancestor's arrogance and his temperament became bad when he failed. He glanced at Fang Yuan and saw that he had already finished drinking the cloud mist tea, he casually pointed to an immortal. You, clumsy and having breasts for brains, I don't need you to refine the goo, go make tea for my little friend. The female immortal who was scolded and ordered was Fairy Huang Sha. She was furious, but did not dare to flare up as her life was in Lang Ya Lan spirit's hands. She could only bite her lips and forcibly restrain her anger to steep tea for Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan, however, said, I don't like to drink tea, do you have wine here? I only like drinking top quality wine, there should be some in your grand Lang Ya blessed land, right? HMPH, why would there not be? Celestial horse wine and destitute wine, both are top quality wine, which one do you want to drink? Bring out both of them for me to taste. Fang Yuan said without batting an eyelid. Thereupon, Fairy Huang Sha became Fang Yuan's serving maid. The celestial horse wine was milky white and gave off a thick fragrance of milk. It tasted silky, mellow, and soft. Destitute wine did not have any special color, looking like clear soup, and did not have even a bit of wine fragrance. It also tasted flavorless. However, the after-effect was extremely strong, usually only one mouthful would be enough to make one completely drunk for seven-eight days. Taking advantage of the land spirit refining goo, Fang Yuan just took a light sip before openly storing these two vats of wine in wolf swallow goo. The second goo refinement attempt also failed. The land spirit's expression became even more unsightly as he howled. HMPH, I don't believe it, I will continue. The land spirit naturally sensed Fang Yuan storing the wine, but right now, because of his self-respect, he chose to ignore it. Young master, please be merciful and save this servant. Looking at the land spirit and the rest going for third attempt at Gu refinement, Fairy Huang Sha implored to Fang Yuan with a soft and weeping voice. Her skin was white and tender, like a lichai whose skin had just been removed. Her eyebrows were bluish-black, her eyes were like a lake, hiding in amorous gaze. Her breasts were very big and her waist was thin. Her figure was endlessly seductive and one could even say it could shock heart and soul. Right now, as she talked with eyes that had tears in them, let alone men, even women would be moved. If you can save this servant, I am willing to serve you for my whole life and follow your orders. Fairy Huang Sha implored again with soft voice. This was a pleading from a female Gu immortal. If it were any other mortal men, they would already be extremely moved, and their little brother would furiously rise up. Men all had a desire to conquer, especially if it was conquering a noble woman. But Fang Yuan did not even glance at her. These five immortals were all cannon fodder in his past life. They all died in Lang Ya Blessed Land. They paid a proper price for their greed and impulse. Although Fairy Huang Sha was beautiful, she was no different from a pile of dung in the gutter in Fang Yuan's mind. But if I cannot obtain immortality, I am also a pile of shit in the gutter, he <laughs> he. Fang Yuan sneered in his mind. Fairy Huang Sha was about to plead again. She had complete confidence in her beauty, and right now she had a feeling that this person might be her only chance to escape with her life. However, how could she know Fang Yuan was even more abnormal than Lang Ya Lan spirit? You are too noisy, get lost. Fang Yuan directly kicked the half-leaning delicate body of Fairy Huang Sha. Fairy Huang Sha fell down on the floor, she was baffled, and could not react for a long while. She was actually rejected? Is he not a man? A strong sense of humiliation struck her proud heart, causing her face to become twisted and her gaze towards Fang Yuan filled with extreme resentment. Hee <laughs> hee. Fang Yuan scoffed, got off the cloud bed and walked towards Fairy Huang Sha. Then he lifted his foot in front of her face. A dull sound was heard, Fairy Huang Sha was kicked over and her head struck the floor, producing another heavy dull sound. 
her rank 5 goo worms were all taken away. Under the situation where her immortal essence was used up and was under Lang Ya Blessed Land's suppression as well, how could she be Fang Yuan's match? You! Fairy Huang Sha's lungs were about to burst with anger, her incisor tooth had broken from the KCK, causing her mouth to fill with blood. She let out a deep growl and her expression turned malevolent. Compared to her weeping and pitiful look just before, they looked like two completely different person. HMPH, how can mere beauty entice me? If you look at me one more time, do you believe I will not smash all your teeth? Fang Yuan's dark and deep pupils shone with cruelty. Fairy Huang Sha's delicate body shuddered, she tightly clenched her fists and seemed to exhaust all her strength to stand up. But she lowered her head in the end and did not look at Fang Yuan again. At the other side, Stargate Gu's refinement failed again. The land spirit stomped his foot in anger, his expression turning even worse. He was aware of the situation with Fairy Huang Sha. He approached Fang Yuan and smiled. Little friend, please don't get angry. I just captured this little thing, so haven't had the time to teach them properly. You can play with her if you want, make her dance or strip her clothes or do anything you want. Haha, <laughs> materials have been used up, I will go buy them. Hearing these words, Fairy Huang Sha seemed to have fallen into an ice hole. An intense feeling of humiliation surged in her heart like a tide. Make me strip my clothes and dance. This proposal made her feel incomparably cold and afraid. Since young till now, she had never received such treatment. A grand goo immortal being played with, Fairy Huang Sha felt it would be better to die instead. Gui Wang and loner Hong Yu at the side seemed to have been stimulated as they licked their dry lips and looked at Fairy Huang Sha with burning gaze. The two who were normally close to Fairy Huang Sha like sisters, Fairy Fen Meng and Fairy King Suo, remained silent as if they had not heard anything. As the tragedy was about to unfold, Fang Yuan sneered. Strip her clothes, make her dance. No need, what meaning is there in that? Lust? Desire to conquer? HMPH, nothing but pointless urges. What I am interested in now is only Stargate Goo. Chapter 465 The Night Sky is Really Beautiful Gui Wang and Loner Hong Yu were very disappointed. Fairy King Suo and Fairy Fen Meng let out a breath of turbid air, their expressions were complex. The heavy stone in Fairy Huang Sha's heart fell and her body completely relaxed, almost falling down to the ground. The hatred in her heart towards Fang Yuan and the land spirit deepened by several times. As long as I can escape, as long as I can make a comeback, I will cut your bodies into a thousand pieces to relieve this hatred in my heart. Hee <laughs> hee, little friend is indeed worthy of being a demon venerable's inheritor. The land spirit let out a forced laughter and took out connecting heaven goo. This connecting heaven goo turned into a round mirror when it was activated and flew to the top of the land spirit and stayed there. The scene of pitch darkness in the mirror suddenly changed, letting out a bright yellow light. The land spirit activated divine sense goo, divine sense was transmitted into the mirror in waves after waves and exchanged with other waves of divine sense. At the same time, the surface of the mirror continuously changed and showed pictures of all kinds of materials. The land spirit seemed to have already made an agreement. He took out two immortal essence stones out of nowhere and threw into the connecting heaven goo. The surface of the mirror seemed to ripple. The immortal essence stones went into the mirror and materials were spurted out by the mirror one after another. This time, I have bought twenty sets of materials, I don't believe the refinement won't succeed. The land spirit said fiercely. The goo refinement began again, and at the final stage, bright starlight converged to become a pair of oval stones. Success! The land spirit laughed heartily and handed these two oval blue gemstone-like goo worms to Fang Yuan. This is Stargate goo, I have finished the agreement. How do I know if it works or not? Fang Yuan held this pair of Stargate goo and asked. The land spirit fumed in anger as if it had received a great insult. Are you doubting my goo refinement ability? You can exchange it if it won't do. All right, I shall take my leave then. 
Fang Yuan was extremely straightforward and expressed his intent to leave. The land spirit fiercely stared at his eyes, leaving just like that? Then the remaining two chances, you won't use them now? I am saving them for now. Where is the exit? The land spirit waved his hand, teleporting the five immortals away. His expression then greatly eased. What recipes do you have now? Write them all out and let me look. None left. If I had any, I would have exchanged them with you. Fang Yuan shirked. I have a feeling, little friend, you have something good still left. The land spirit looked at Fang Yuan doubtfully and mumbled, All right then, I shall wait for your return. The land spirit then waved his sleeve. Fang Yuan's vision blurred, and when it cleared, he saw he was back at the stone forest. Beside him was the stone stool he sat at before and behind was that purple stone pillar. The stars shone brightly at the sky, the temperature was low and one could see their breath coming out. Everything before seemed like a dream, causing Fang Yuan to feel like it was all a lifelike illusion. He looked at the sky, he had spent quite some time in Lang Ya Blessed Land, but only 136 of that time had passed in the outside world. Stargate Goo, Divine Sense Goo, Connecting Heaven Goo, and the two small vat of top quality wine in Wolf Swallow Goo were clear evidences that allowed Fang Yuan to recall this fortuitous encounter. I had intended to use all the three chances, but who knew I could use recipes to exchange for goo, thus I still have two chances left. If this Stargate Goo can be used, it would make spending a Goo refinement chance worth it. Fang Yuan thought of this as he left the place and returned to the wolf group. This was a time where he had to make use of every second to prevent causing any complications. Fang Yuan sat cross-legged at the grassy land under the protection of the wolf kings and began writing a letter. The letter was soon finished, he then activated moving perspective cup goo. After a moment, the moving perspective cup exchanged with the other one through the space cave, and Fang Yuan took out a rank 4 goo and a letter from it. This goo was like a dried fish named dried pond goo and was a water path goo worm with a special effect. It is used to boost the effects of other goo worms. Once this goo arrived in northern plains, it was immediately suppressed to rank 3. Fang Yuan browsed through the letter and nodded in satisfaction. During these days when I was not at the Blessed Land, it seems little who immortal had been extremely diligent and did not forget the task I gave before I left, refining twenty dried pond goo. Great. Fang Yuan then sent another letter including several praises towards little who immortal. Master praised me, I am so happy. Little who immortal's face flushed with happiness after she read the letter. Master, I miss you. Little Who Immortal lied down on the table and started writing, When Master is not here, I feel anxious. Master, are you okay? I am sending another dried pond goo there. Little Who Immortal used her delicate small hand to fold the letter properly before putting it into moving perspective cup goo. At the same time, she also added a dried pond goo. After a good while, moving perspective cup goo leisurely flew up and entered space cave, exchanging with the other moving perspective cup and appearing before Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan immediately took out the dried pond goo and glanced at the letter. Then he absorbed primeval stones to recover his primeval essence before activating moving perspective cup goo again. After repeating this over and over, he received a total of eight dried pond goo. If I use the eight dried pond goo together, their effects should stack up and match a rank four level. Fang Yuan crushed these dried pond goo on the spot. The dried pond goo turned into eight halos, which twisted around moving perspective cup goo. At the same time, on Who Immortal Blessed Land, Little Who Immortal also crushed eight dried pond goo and overlaid them on moving perspective cup goo. Moving Perspective Cup Goo was a rank 5 Goo, but in Northern Plains it was suppressed to rank 4. Thus, it could only transport rank 4 Goo Worms. Now, after using 8 Dried Pond Goo, Moving Perspective Cup Goo's ability advanced to rank 5 and could transport rank 5 Goo. 
Fang Yuan waited for a while before taking out Connecting Heaven Gu and gravely put it in Moving Perspective Cup Gu, then transferred his primeval essence. After successful activation, the two Moving Perspective Cup completed their exchange in Space Cave and the cup with Connecting Heaven Gu appeared in Hu Immortal Blessed Land. Little Hu Immortal cheered and took out the Connecting Heaven Gu. Tiny cracks appeared on Moving Perspective Cup Gu. Although dried pond goo could amplify a goo worm's ability, it was like draining the pond to get the fish or burning the forest to hunt. Although it greatly raised the power, the goo worm would perish because of the excessively forced power up. Next, Fang Yuan sent Divine Sense Goo to Hu Immortal Blessed Land, and the cracks on moving perspective cup goo intensified. Fang Yuan silently took out primeval stones and quickly replenished his primeval essence. He then sent one blue gemstone of the Stargate Goo to Hu Immortal Blessed Land. Fortunately, Stargate Goo was not an Immortal Goo, but a Rank 5 Goo, allowing Fang Yuan to be barely able to use Moving Perspective Cup Goo to send it to Hu Immortal Blessed Land. After the Stargate Goo was sent to the Blessed Land, Moving Perspective Cup Goo had already become deformed with cracks all over it and was on the verge of collapse. At this point, it could still be used for one last time. Fang Yuan stored the moving perspective cup goo in his aperture and did not use it again. He was waiting now. Moving perspective cup goo had been refined by him and possessed his will. But he had already lent it to Little Hu Immortal, thus she could also use it. The several times before were all him using moving perspective cup goo. It was because Hu Immortal Blessed Land's time flow was several times faster than at Northern Plains. If Little Hu Immortal recklessly activated it from the Blessed Land, it was very possible Fang Yuan would not have been prepared. Puff, it is up to Little Hu Immortal now. If she fails, she will have to send another moving perspective cup goo for the final use. Hopefully, she can succeed. Before Fang Yuan left, he had refined only one set of moving perspective cup goo. But he had reminded Little Hu Immortal. For a period of time, Little Hu Immortal and Immortal Crane Sect had made several transactions and exchanged many goo refinement materials and had already refined the second set of moving perspective cup goo. Time was becoming somewhat difficult to endure. Whether it was connecting Heaven Goo or Divine Sense Goo, they were both rank 5 Goo and had an extremely huge demand for primeval essence. Even a rank 5 peak stage Goo Master might only be able to last for several breaths. Thus, usually only Goo Immortals or Land Spirits would consume Immortals' essence to use them. As for why Fang Yuan did not activate moving perspective Cup Goo at Lang Ya Blessed Land, it was because he did not want to expose them. If it was exposed, the Lang Ya Land spirit would definitely demand for its recipe. Minutes ticked by, and with several times the speed at Hu Immortal Blessed Land, the chilly night wind made Fang Yuan slightly restless. He stood up and began to pace around. The sky was filled with many stars, providing sufficient starlight. The Stargate Gu in Fang Yuan's hand, however, had no movement. Did it fail? Was that group of starlight firefly goo at Treasure Yellow Heaven bought by someone else? As time passed by, Fang Yuan's heart continued to sink. He stopped pacing about and stood on the spot for a long while with his hands behind his back. He gazed afar, Crescent Lake sparkled with light and tranquilness. The wolf group beside him. Some were standing and some were lying down, all with different postures. He could not help thinking back to that scene when he went to capture the liquor worm at King Mao Mountain. He broke out in laughter, his worries gone and his gaze once more became unclouded. All the worries, all the pressure, all the impatience since the start till now dispersed with the wind. He gazed at the night sky and breathed out all the turbid air in him and suddenly felt that his current life was so beautiful, giving everything to pursue the greatest goal, having no regrets. He came to an understanding, his heart was clear like a mirror that could not be stained by dust, tranquil like this crescent lake. Since his rebirth at King Mao Mountain, he had always been exhausting his mind, and now he suddenly understood something. 
this comprehension was unclear as it lingered around his heart before finally turning into a sentence, he mumbled. The night sky is really beautiful. This was his heartfelt emotion. The moment he said these words, Fang Yuan's body lightened and felt he had unloaded a thousand jin of weight as if he was about to fly. His entire disposition also seemed to have changed. The cold aura disappeared without a trace, turning into a clear and carefree aura. The dark pupils with abysmal depths let out a clear light now, just like a newborn baby or like a star. The stargate goo in his hand slightly shook at this moment and the shaking intensified. Fang Yuan opened his hand. The blue gemstone like stargate goo leisurely flew in the air, large amounts of starlight gathered and condensed towards it. The scene was beautiful and dreamy. In an instant, the starlight formed into an enormous oval door. Stargate Gu had succeeded. Fang Yuan calmly watched it. The corner of his lips slightly curled up into a smile, but his eyes were still calm as water. He unhurriedly stepped into the stargate. The starlight in front of him turned into a whirlpool and flew away with his body. After a dozen or so breaths of time, he walked out of the stargate and appeared in Hu Immortal Blessed Land. Master, you are back. Little Hu Immortal was extremely happy as she leapt into Fang Yuan's chest. Fang Yuan chuckled and rubbed the land spirit's tiny head. Yes, I am back, he gently said.